First, we're going to discuss infield defensive positioning. There are six infield positions. Pitcher, first base, second base, shortstop, third base, and of course, the catcher. All infielders must be within the infield restraining line at the start of each pitch. The restraining line is the straight path parallel to the baseline, extending 12 and a half feet beyond the baseline. In this video, it's the line that separates red from green just behind the base path from first to third base. When the pitch is made, the first, second, and third base and shortstop players generally start on the restraining line and gently push their chair toward the hitter. The fielders should not be on the base, blocking the base, or in the base path without the ball. The base runner has the right to the entire base and the base path. If a fielder interferes with the base runner by sitting on the base or being in the baseline without the ball, an obstruction will be called and base runners can be awarded extra bases. The first responsibility for a first baseman is to catch balls that are hit in their area and touch first base for the out. When a ball is hit at other fielders, the first baseman will go to the first base and wait for the throw with both rear wheels on the base inside the baseline. The batter will be crossing the first base on the outside of the baseline. So, the first baseman must make their catches with a wheel touching the base inside the baseline to avoid collisions. The first responsibility for all other infield players is to catch balls that have been hit in their area and throw the ball to the proper base to make an out as needed. The second base and shortstop positions share responsibility for second base. Usually, when a ball is hit towards the first base side of the infield or outfield, the shortstop will be responsible for catching throws made to second base. When a ball is hit to the third base side of the infield or the outfield, the second base player will be responsible for catching throws made to second base. The first responsibility of the third base position is to catch any balls hit in the area and to touch third base for an out when appropriate or throw to one of the other bases as needed. The third baseman generally stays at the base and does not assist in other defensive activities. The pitcher's responsibility after the pitch is to catch any balls hit in their general area and to throw the ball to the proper base for an out. The pitcher also plays a crucial role when backing up bases, like covering home plate and providing cutoff for long throws. For much more, see the video on pitching on our channel or at wheelchairsoftball.org. The first responsibility for a catcher is to catch and return the ball to the pitcher after each pitch if it's not hit. If the pitch is hit, the catcher should field any balls in the area near home plate. If there are base runners, the catcher should stay at home plate. If there are no base runners, when a pitch is hit, the catcher can help by providing a backup to first base. It's generally recommended the first baseman and some pitchers use a fielding glove. This generally increases the range and ability to reach balls thrown by a fielder. Good infielders can be the difference between successful and unsuccessful teams. By understanding positioning, movement, and the responsibilities of infield players, you can become a valuable member of any team.